Hello and welcome everybody. Hopefully this will be the last video with this crappy microphone because I have purchased a new one which should be coming in a few days and hopefully it will be much better than this. But anyways, this should do the job for now. Let's get started with this project. I have already created a very basic project just so we don't waste any time and I will walk you through this project right now. First of all, I'm going to open the PowerShell on Windows but of course, if you're Mac, use a terminal and on Linux, I believe that you have to use terminal as well. So I'm going to left shift right click on Windows and open the PowerShell windows here. And of course, if you're Mac, you have to CD to your project folder. And this will be available to download on my blog post on my blog and GitHub page, which will be all linked in the, in the description below. And let me open Visual Studio Code quickly. Oh, I've already got it open. And yeah, and let me show you some of the project. So first of all, let me expand everything. So we have, so we have this public folder with uh, just CSS inside, and this is a main .css file. Uh, we'll be writing a very minimal minimal amount of CSS. We have a views folder, which will be basically where we'll be storing all pages. So we are only going to have two pages, the index page and about page. Uh, the index page will be kind of like a blog where we have a big column and a small column with a sidebar. And then the about page will be full width, just to show you uh, how we can use the EJS uh, layout. Last but not least, of course, we have all app.js and we have all packages JSON, which I will go through. Uh, I will go through both of them right now. Now, first of all, if we go to packages.json, you will see that the only dependencies that we have are the EJS and Express. And also we have the node one for development purposes. So we don't have to uh, restart the server every single time. Now, let's quickly install the express ejs layout and to do this we can go to uh, command line terminal powershell whatever you're using i've zoomed in quite a lot hopefully you can see uh, and what we have to do is npm install and we have to install express ejs layout Just like this press enter this will install the dependency for us and if you go back you you should see that you have express ejs layout and now we can include this into our app project and start using it first of all let's actually start the server and see what we have to start the project we can do npm start and this should hopefully start nodemon and uh, the app is listening on port 5000. I will also go through app.js in a second, but if we go to the browser and go to localhost with the port of 5000, I only have hello world at the moment, but we'll change this very soon. Now, first of all, let's go back to Visual Studio Code and let's navigate to app.js. So let me walk you through the project super quick. Now, first of all, we have a very simple express setup, which I have talked about before. I actually have a full video on this, which I will link in the description below. But as you can see, I have required um, express. Um, we have a port number of 5,000, and then we actually listening, app listening on this port number. And, I have set the VI engine to be obviously EJS because this is what we'll be using today. I have a very simple router and I have some uh, static files and we actually won't be using those two so I can remove them, but we will be using a little bit of CSS so I can leave the public uh, CSS. And again, I have a video on this as well, which will be all linked in the description below. Now this is all good the first thing that we need to do to start using the uh, express ejs layout is to require const and then we can do express layout and this will be equals require and the require that we need to do is express ejs layout just like this 
Now that we have Express EJS layout, we actually need to make sure that our app is using it. And to do this, we can do app.use, and then inside, we can pass this variable name here, just like this, and we should be ready to use the layout. So now if I go back and refresh, you will see that we're actually getting an error. And this is because as a default, let me zoom in, as default, the Express EJS layout uses this layout EJS file to be the default layout. So let's create that file and see what happens. Let's create a new file and this file will be inside views here. So new file, layout and EJS. So layout.ejs and let's save this. If we go back to the browser and refresh, we shouldn't get any more errors now. And this is because the file is now available and the EJS layout is working. Now to prove you that this is working, we can actually add something here. Let's say h1, hello EJS, layout, just like this. Refresh, and as you can see, we get hello EJS layout. To be able to use this uh, layout in all pages, what we can do is, first of all, let's create a very simple HTML file that could be potentially re reused on multiple pages. So first of all, let's create an HTML5 and we can leave the title as document for now, we'll sort this one later. And what we can do is we can use the body EJS tag, which will then bring the data from uh, each individual page. So this will be a template that allows EJS. And let me show you. And inside here, we can do like this body. Uh, just like this. And if we refresh, you will see that we're getting hello world. And this is because now our project is using layout and this is the main layout but this layout is taking the content here this body tag is taking the content from index.ejs and what that allows us to do is reuse code on multiple pages so i can literally write uh, any code here just like i would normally do hey hey there let's save and let's see what happens so if I go here, you will see that we're getting hey there. And if I refresh, sorry, if I see, if I see the page source, you will see that we're getting the HTML file and inside the HTML file, we're actually rendering the homepage, which is brilliant. We can do all sorts of stuff like this. We can set up different layouts for different pages. Maybe you have a register page, you might want to have a different layout. You can have a full screen layout. You can have layout with two columns and so on. So we're going to be doing a layout with two columns and I will show you how that works. And also I'm going to show you how to use partials just because I think that they fit quite well together. So let's go back. And let's have a look. Let's create the second page. So this could be home for now. And let's create a second page. And this one will be called register. No, not ready. And this will be called about.ejs. So this could be h1, just like this, about. OK, so because as default, the express layout is using uh, layout EJS. The about page automatically will be using that layout as well. Um, but we do need to make another route. So let me copy this and do slash um, about. And this will be about. I think, yeah, that's fine. So hopefully, if we refresh and go to slash about. We should get the about page and again if we inspect the source code you will see that we're getting the html and inside here we're rendering the about page which can be very useful when we're working on a bigger project let's go back so as a default we have layout ejs but what if you wanted for some reason to change 
the default uh, name of the layout or you wanted to change the directory let me show you how we can do this so first of all instead of uh, so first of all let me actually rename the layout and let me move it to another folder so for example let's create a new folder just for this example and of course feel free to structure your project the way you want the way you feel comfortable so i'm gonna go with inside view so i'm gonna create a folder called layout and inside here let's move the layout ejs and let me say let's say this is the full width layout so i could do rename and let's say full dash width dash width dot ejs let's save this and let's see what happens obviously at the moment the default is set to layout and that's why it's looking up layout ejs but we don't have that anymore and let me show you how we can change the default first of all to change the default let's go back to app.js and maybe just under here we can add the new default page and to do this we can do app.set then we have to do layout and then we have to pass the uh, folder which in this case will be one backwards one uh, directory backwards then slash layout and then slash uh, for width dot and that's it so let's save this and let's see if this works if we refresh as you can see this is working just as expected now the default page is full width ejs and of course we could have called this default and so on and let's actually leave the full width layout to be the default one and let's create another one which will be the one with the sidebar i was actually thinking to do all the way around but i think this makes more sense okay so let's duplicate this so let's create another page in here in layout and we'll call this one uh, sidebar.ejs but what I mean by this is having a big left column and a sidebar on the side. Now first of all let's start creating some of the pages. Okay let's first of all start building the full width page and I'm just going to do some super simple CSS in here. So let's do a div with the class of wrapper and the reason I didn't want to use bootstrap for this is because it adds way too many divs and classes and it's just confusing if I'm completely honest with you so what I'm going to do is uh, create a wrapper and inside the wrapper we're just gonna have a main and inside the main will be our body text just like this and this would be actually okay but let's make this a little bit more interesting and let's add a header just like this and, and let's add a fake footer as well just like this and just like this let's indent them a little bit so you can see better and I think this will be perfect. Let's save, go back. And as you can see, we have our header, we have the about, and we have the uh, footer. Obviously, I'm gonna make this a little bit better looking, but let's go back to the home page. Let's go back to the home page here, and let's make this look a little bit better. Now, I'm going to open the main.css but I actually forgot to include the style sheet so let's do that super quickly. I'm going to do a link of CSS and this will be main.css uh, CSS just like this and this works because we have in app.js we have set this uh, static files folder which is quite helpful. So let's save this go back and as you can see the i don't know if you saw but the color of the background changed and this is because i actually have added a uh, body color on this page so let's go back and uh, finish off some of the styles 
So as you can see, I have a body background with EEE as a color. Font size is like 26 pixels. It doesn't really matter at this point. So let's quickly center line or page. And to do this, we have the wrapper. So width, so let's set width to be 700 pixels, margin zero, auto to center line. Um, let's do background color to be white. Let's add some padding and let's see what we have. Okay, this is looking a little bit better. Um, so, so you can have a clear understanding of what's going on. Let's now start with the header and the footer so so we can see the separation a little bit better. Um, to do this, I'm gonna do header footer. Let's do let's do background color ghost white. Let's do padding of 20 pixels. Save this. Okay, and I hope that you can see this. The header is kind of highlighted and the footer is highlighted. And this is the main content area here for a website. So um, this is actually, so we actually work in on our homepage and let's do, okay, so this is absolutely fine. And I think that now is a good time to show you how the partials work. Now, first of all, to do this, let me let me create a new folder inside here, inside the views, and let's call this folder uh, partials. So views, partials. And partials are basically gonna be chunks of our layout that we can reuse elsewhere. Just like what we're doing right now with the EJS uh, layout, but uh, I'll show you what this does. So for example, we might have a header with a menu that we want to reuse on some pages or we want to hide on some pages and we have a footer which we might want to group on a separate file and so on. So to do this normally you would cut this and inside partials maybe we can create a new file called header.ejs and I would paste the header in here. Now to include this file, now to include the header inside here, what I can do is with EJS, I can do percentage dash include. And inside here, we have to, we have to include the file. This will be double back then to get to the views, then slash uh, partials, and then slash header. Save this and let's see what happens. If I refresh, we have an error and let's have a look. And this is because I actually have to put EJS in here. And also I forgot to close the EJS tag here. So let's refresh again. And now I believe that we have space. Yep, let's remove this. Let's refresh and okay, now it's working. So as you can see now, the header is actually in a separate partial file, which is pretty cool. So if you had a menu, so it's pretty cool to organize your layout just like so. And let's do the same for the footer. So for the footer, let's grab this, create a new partial inside here. And this will be footer.ejs. Let's paste the footer, save and remove. And now we can include the footer again like this and this should work as expected now if I wanted to remove the foot of some strange reason from here I can do just take it off save and as you can see the foot is now completely gone let's uh, go back and actually we are pretty much done with this layout one thing that uh, we could do is maybe display a different title here. And to do this, we can do it with EJS. So let's open EJS. It's kind of hard to open EJS. And let's do title. Okay, to pass the title, you probably already know, uh, but we can do it inside here. We can just do title and the title will be uh, homepage, just like this. Save this. And as you can see here, it says document. If I refresh now, it says homepage, which is perfect. So we've passed the name and uh, this is brilliant. 
and we can do the same for the about but now i want to show you how we can use a totally different layout specific layout for a different page now to do this we actually have to do it inside here where we render the about page so we have to do cover and inside here inside brackets we have to do a layout and then we have to specify the layout uh, that we want and this will be this will be I believe dot slash layout and then and then sidebar I don't think that we have to type in JS here so let's save this and let's inside here let's do uh, sidebar so let's save and we obviously have to navigate to the about page and as you can see we have the sidebar working specifically for the about page so let's create our layout super quickly in here and to speed up the process i'm just going to copy the full width layout from here and paste it into sidebar just like this and again to use the content from the about ejs i'm using the body tag but in this case i just want to create a side uh, a side bar as well just to show you that they're two different layouts so what we can do is let's separate them a little bit and let's do side and let's just type something like sidebar like so and save now obviously i haven't done the css for this and it might be just easier to do a grid for this so let's do a div with the class name of i don't know Layout, layout sidebar. That would do. It doesn't matter too. Let's say this and wrap them in this element. And the only reason I'm doing this, and the only, and the only reason I'm doing this is just so I can align them properly. So let's say this and go to the CSS and let's do display grid and then um, grid template and we have two columns and let's do the first column to take two fractions of the available space and then the second column which is or sidebar to take one fraction of the available space let's save this save this and also inside the about page we okay we have a little bit of text but let's also let's just add a little bit i'm gonna do a paragraph here and also by the way i forgot to tell you that this is just a normal uh, HTML page so you can be adding your div tags uh, your paragraphs and so on it's literally a normal page that just renders inside uh, each inside the layouts so sidebar or full width in our case or if it was the default one layouts.ejs so let me quickly add some content and this will be this is the above page look it has to Look, it has two columns. Okay. So let me just show you. Let's create the link here, and this link will be a href, maybe to the home page, just like this. Um, let's save this, go back refresh and we have a problem with the title and this is because we actually haven't passed the title and the two ways of fixing it we can either go to the uh, sidebar page here let me just close the rest and obviously this title we hasn't been passed and that's why it's error so we can either delete this or we can pass it from here so we can do title and then we can pass the name of uh, about page just like this and then comma and then layout will follow save this go back refresh and as you can see at the top here i don't know if you can see but we have about page this is the title we have the header included we have the text and we have the sidebar um, let's just quickly change the main area a little bit with css 
just so you can see a little bit better but I think you get the point anyway so I'm thinking of the main and then background color gonna sync whatever and then let's just do padding 20 pixels and also we could do gap of oh, 10 pixels doesn't matter and as you can see now we have the header the left side column for the about page we have the sidebar which is unique to this page and if you go back to the home page which i've linked you will see that we're getting the home page which is full width layout and so on let me quickly add some text for the home page so let's do this is the page and it takes full Let's add a link quickly to slash about, okay. about just like this and save. Let's refresh and as you can see again everything is rendered nicely. We have full we have full control of where we want to display the header, where we want to display the footer. Uh, we have full control of the layouts now. We can have different layouts for each page and so on. I think that might be pretty much everything for now. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope that I explained it well. And if you like to see more tutorials just like this, please follow me by, by hitting the red button below. I will post a lot more Node.js tutorials. And don't forget to smash the like, share the content with your friends. And please comment below to let me know if you've enjoyed the project or if you have any problems or future suggestions and that's it i will see you in the next one thank you very much for watching